fit like, fit like, it's me, Reed Robin. I was cheery, I was bobbin. Just echt me a sleep till Christmas Day. Fifth decoration comes your way. A tree for me, please, pin a draw. Mark it on the wire, ta. Now settle down and watch the screen, you loons and quines for Aberdeen. Twa elves doing a video call. Brought to you for ten feet tall. Okay, first we have Nicholas. Nicholas is from Spain, and Nicholas would like a skateboard for his Christmas. One skateboard. Lovely, thank you, Dee. Lovely wrapping. Next we have Jenny. Jenny is from Wales, and Jenny's family have just got a new dog. So Jenny would like a kennel. Okay. Thank you. Oh. One kennel. Benji's in your knees there, Dee. Okay. Thank you. And next we have Mary. Mary is Irish, which means she's from... Ireland. Very good. And she would like a doll for her Christmas, please. Hey, one doll. Oh, lovely. Thank you, Dee. Victoria would like a bear. She hasn't specified what kind of bear, so any bear would do. And Victoria is from Slovakia. Just bring me a bear there, Dee, please. the life out of me. It's too big. Oh no, there will be a box big enough for any bear in there, thank you. Don't worry about that, Dee, we will see to it. Dee? Yes? They're here. Who's here? They are here. Oh, the people. The people, all of them. Oh. oh. What's wrong? Oh, um. Oh. What? Nervous. Why are you nervous? They look friendly enough. Um, they look a bit like us too, nice and colourful. Oh, what if they don't like us? Well, I'm sure they will. We work hard, we're nice, and we try to give all the children great Christmases. What's not to like? Well, take my hand. Come and take a seat. Mm. Oh, they are small like me. Yes. Oh, there's one with a nice red hat on. I like that. There's one with a Christmas jumper. Oh, there's a, a granny in the corner sipping on some tea. Oh, a baby. Oh, I see a dog. Oh, should we say hello? I suppose we should. Okay. Hello. Hello. I'm Don. And I'm Dee. And we're elves in the North Pole. Yes, that's very far away from where you are right yes, now. Yes, and as you can see, we're busy working away. It's not an easy job. We've got to make sure that every present that goes in and out of the workshop has a name and an address on it. And some of them don't even have names on them. Yes, they all have names and addresses on them. No, they don't. Yes, they do. No, I saw one yesterday. It didn't have a name on it. You are joking, Dee. No. Well, go and find it. This cannot be allowed to happen. Okay. Every child must have a present, Dee. You know that. It can't be Jenny, because Jenny was Welsh and Jenny wanted a kennel. And it... It's this one. Oh. You're right. See? No name or address. Hmm. We should open it. No, 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 no. Rule number one of being an elf. Never, ever open a wrapped gift. Uh, how will we know what's inside? We could guess. Yes. I wonder what they think it would be. Maybe it's an iPad. Uh, oh, a bit too light to be an iPad. Mm. A football? Mm, wrong shape. Wrong shape. Mm. Let's shape it. No, no! That's rule number two, D. Never shake it, because you might just break it. Mm. Well, I heard a rule that if you think it's broken, then you can open it, because you can't give someone a broken present, and then we'd find out what it is, and then we'd know who it's for. I have never heard that particular rule, but we can't have children go without presents, so one quick peek won't hurt. Okay. I don't like how much joy you're taking out of this, Dee. This is breaking the rules. Oh, no, I just thought. What? It might be one of their gifts. Oh. oh. I'll have a quick look and see. Oh. That's Granny's gift. <gasps> Oh, oh, the rest of the family. Make sure Granny has her eyes covered. We'll show you the present. Ready? Oh, oh, lovely. Back in the box, Dee. Granny, you can open your eyes again. Okay. Now. I'll put Granny's name on it. 
Yes, please. Now, that's a secret between all of us, okay? Don't tell Granny. Granny. Oh, good. Oh. Yes. <gasps> the phone. Well, go and get I'll it. I'll answer the phone. Okay. Santa's little helpers, mail department. How can I help you? It's Santa. It's Santa. Hello, Santa. Yes? Oh, of course, of course. Okay, bye-bye. Love you. I love you. Oh, that was Santa. Yes. And he said to 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 tell you. Yes. To remember. Mm hmm. Not to forget. Yes. Mm. No, 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 I don't, forgot. no, don't cry. It'll be okay. Okay. Yes. Um, Just try to think really hard. He said, don't forget mm -hmm. to tell them about yes. Christmas cheer. Ah, uh, of course. Mm -hmm. That's why we've come to you through this communication device. It's a computer. Uh, they call it a computer. Mm -hmm. See, uh, the North Pole's not been very cheerful lately. We're the only two cheery elves mm -hmm. left. It used to be a lot like this. Hey, Yay! party! Yay! And now it's like this. <sighs> used to be a lot like this. <laughs> <laughs> and now it's a lot like this. We need some help um, cheering up the North Pole. Yes. Mm -hmm. So, so what, what's some ways that, that cheer you up when you're sad? Well, I like to laugh. Oh, laughing. Um, I like giggling. I like smiling. Smiling. Um, I like telling jokes. Oh, oh, me too. I love telling jokes. Do you have a joke? Well, there's one I've been working on. Why does everybody like the snowman? I don't know. Because he's a cool guy. <laughs> Did you like that one? Yes. Thank you, Dee. Um, I know a way that cheers me up when I'm sad. What is it? Telling stories. Oh, what kind of stories do you like to tell? I, I like stories about penguins. Oh, do you like too many penguins? Yes! Oh. <laughs> Mr. Polaro is a polar bear. He likes peace and quiet, no need to share. One day, a tent popped up in his ice arena with a bird inside, by the name of Penguina. Is nutty, Mr. Polaro? Politely, he tried to get on with his day. But she just wouldn't leave, she just wanted to play. I'm off to the lighthouse to be by myself. Excited, Penguina grabs some paint from the shelf. Oh dear. Then from over the horizon, high in the sky, a hot air balloon comes floating by. And what do you know? It was her brother. Mr. P was in shock. Could he handle another? More penguins looking for a home. Enough is enough is enough, he said, and went off in a huff to his polar bear bed. Bedtime! Cozy and snoring and tucked up in bed no idea of what was ahead. Juan and Maisie and Ahmed and Ella Brenda and... and Pedro and Bella Christo and Robin, and Alfie and Barry, Sam and Nicola, Reyes and Harry, Deo and Freya, Buzz and Millie, Shamsa and Greg, and Teeny Wee Billy. Morning. And another one. Oh my goodness. Oh no. So many. Too many penguins. <laughs> 
Mr. P could hear an unusual tune playing. It made him feel good and his hips started swaying. Then a penguin appeared with the same taste in fashion and Mr. P thought, Where is my compassion? And another was making him a delightful cup of tea and he thought, You are messy and noisy and terribly wee. But actually, maybe you are all quite like me. In a world as big as ours, you can never have too many penguins. me up. I like telling stories. That was lovely. Yes. How many days do we have left till Christmas, D? Two. No, D. We have seven days till Christmas. Oh, seven days till Christmas. Yes. That means we've got seven more days of being more cheerful. And you can help by, by telling jokes. Smiling. And smiling and laughing and, and telling lots of stories. And yes. be so cheerful that you'll help cheer up the North Pole. Yes, that would be absolutely wonderful. Yes. Let's hope they can do that for us. That's the phone again. Oh, well, go and go get it. Oh, no. Santa's little helpers, mailroom department. How can we help you? Hi, Santa. Oh, twice in one day. Okay, I'll tell him. Oh, what did he say this time? It was Santa. Yes? He said that there's only seven more days till Christmas, mm -hmm. and we should probably get back to work now. Oh, yes, we should get back to work. Yes, we should. Okay, then. Well, bye, bye, everyone.